Hi, Ego is here. Welcome to another episode dedicated to our templates and how they can make your marketing more effective. Today, we'll talk about the starter template we created for SMM. Let's see how easily and simply it can help make your SMM graphics consistent and converting. This file includes various templates for social media posts, Google ads, and email campaigns. To customize the entire document's color scheme, use the variables feature. For example, I'll replace the white background with a cream shade from our new palette. I'll also tweak a couple of templates for demonstration. You can modify the font for all headings using variables as well. By changing the family name, the font across the entire document will update. You can also adjust the weight from bold to medium or regular, but we'll stick with bold for now. Observe how the styles and fonts have been consistently updated throughout the document. Now, let's incorporate photos into our templates. I'll also add an accent color to highlight this header. We'll add this new color to our palette and create a dedicated group for accent colors. By reorganizing the palette, we can ensure bright colors are allocated to accent. Let's continue adding photos to the remaining frames. We'll remove the placeholder image icons from each one. Next, we'll adjust the corner radii to align with the branding guidelines. In this example, we'll use a mix of straight and rounded corners. Let's adjust the photo settings and change the font color to a darker shade here. We'll apply the same changes to the other frames. If needed, we can modify the color of specific elements to better match the design.
Let's add some variety to the background colors for more visual interest. Now, I'll customize additional templates to complete the set. We'll adjust the corner radius once again to maintain consistency with our branding. Let's apply similar customization to our Twitter templates. I'll duplicate the Instagram templates on this page to easily transfer styles. We'll repeat the same steps here as we did previously. We'll proceed to customize the remaining templates for Google Ads and emails. Finally, we'll alter the button shapes in our style guide to complete the design update. Thanks for watching this episode. We hope this overview helped you understand how easy, fast, and most importantly, effective it is to use our SMM template for your marketing activities. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest offerings and useful tips. See you soon.